Welcome to a vlog. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. Welcome in, welcome in. If you haven't already, please hit the red button below, subscribe to my channel, join the Brit Face, be in there like swimwear. If you haven't down with me since day one, welcome back to a vlog, baby. I wanted to come out here and give a life update because for the most part, I update you guys, but I feel like I haven't really done so because there's a lot of things happening in the next few months. So I just wanted to start off with the life update, especially because y'all saw in my last video, we did a house tour and I kind of like rushed through it um because my memory card was running out of space <laughs> so i told myself i would just start off with the life update in this vlog so that you guys can keep y'all in the loop because we friends we family so i wanted to keep y'all in the loop of things if you watched my last video i did a house tour we ended up having a family day y'all know sundays i'm trying to do like either self-care day or family day just take advantage of my sundays not really work but just like you know enjoy life so we went to the park went and got some food and we also did a house tour that was like not planned our realtor wasn't with us we just saw these houses and when we got there there was like two other new construction communities so we was like looking at all of them so that's when i showed you guys the last house that we um toured and all that so somebody did ask are we going to be filming our house buying journey and yes we do plan on doing that um today is march 27th so like in a couple of weeks let me see. okay yeah so like in a couple of weeks um in april we are going to be starting that journey i'm going to start it on my channel and take you guys along with me i feel like it's going to be like a newer series because of course i'm going to be filming us decorating the house and all that but i feel like the buying process might be broken down into a series I don't know if y'all want that, but just let me know. Oh, you need some paper? Yeah, paper that has to do with the White House and like no notes on it. Okay, so yeah, let me know if you would want that in the series or you just kind of don't care. I don't know. I'm just trying to keep it somewhat separate, like the moving in, decorating, all that versus like the house buying. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I do want to take you guys along that journey. So yeah, I'm excited, you guys. April, May is really about to be a transforming month for me. It's really about to be like go, go, go time when April, May hit. Like it's, it's just going to be very transforming, um, but I'm, I'm here for it. I told myself last year that this year was going to be my year. So I am excited. I'm so excited. So, yeah, expect the home stuff to be starting within the next couple of weeks. If y'all can hear the TV in the background, Macy is home. I'm going to try to keep the noise level lower so that y'all can hear me, but Macy is home. I don't know if she has, like, sinus allergies or a cold, but, you know, it started with the whole crusty eyes and itchy eyes, and then now it was, like, sneezing, and now she has, like, this cough. Uh, we did send her to school yesterday, but they did call us and was like, she's like constant, consistently. It sounds real bad. So I decided to keep her home today. Um, but also, you guys, I have decided to do virtual school with Macy starting next year. So when she enters first grade, she will be doing virtual school from home. Not homeschool. It's kind of not like homeschool. You know, homeschool is where you're... As the parent you're like the teacher virtual school is teacher led so in the state of georgia they have virtual school where they send the laptop the printer the schoolwork there's a teacher online um it's free it's public charter school and it's available from grades k through 12. the only thing is it's lottery based so you have to apply you have to be accepted in um to get this program so and i don't know what they i don't know what the criteria is to get accepted um i know you have to be a resident of georgia but i don't know what else they ask because it's a pretty simple application but i just found out about it because i googled it and i applied and like i said she got in so she will be starting virtual school grade one next semester she's gonna finish kindergarten in person obviously 
but first grade she will be virtual home so i told you guys on this channel that that is something that i've been thinking about heavily like i've been talking about it and um i just decided to make the decision after my husband and i talked about it i don't know you guys i just feel like school has changed from when i used to go to school you know when i used to go to school there's two teachers i always had two teachers in my classroom on the bus i always had two adults bus monitor bus driver i feel like nowadays the teachers are underpaid understaffed overworked and it's just affecting the kids with macy she is excelling in school she's on a roll she just got accepted to the gifting program y'all um she is on a roll reading she's extremely smart but with that she gets bored quick we asked her every time she goes to school she's like it's boring i do the same thing over and over and over again like we do the same thing like i'm tired i'm bored and so i get that the teacher cannot focus or advance your kid when she has to worry about 25 other kids you know it's like the same thing if your kid is learning slower you know they tell you get a tutor or keep them back a grade because they're not learning um as fast so yeah i just like i said i feel like things are definitely different from when i went to school and it's just it's just different now it's just it's not the same you know i do feel bad for the um teachers out there but i'm also excited and glad that we have opportunities like this so yeah for those moms who do homeschool or have done homeschool comment below and give me some advice i have like this whole classroom um set up in my mind or planned when we do move of what i want macy's like room to look like and stuff but if you don't want to comment and you want to be more discreet you can always email me directly my email is in my description box as well or send me a dm on instagram don't be shy like go ahead um if you have done this before or you are currently doing it let me know what's tea and yeah just send me some advice please for those who are gonna say like, oh, well, what about her interacting and having friends or social skills? I don't care about none of that. It's 2024, like, you do not have to be in school to have social skills, in my opinion. You do not, like, Macy, for one, is in Girl Scouts. Something that's not school-based, it's county-based. Interacts with her other Girl Scouts who are the same age as her. She's going to camp where she's gonna learn how to put out fires, teamwork, you know, skills and all that. She's also starting soccer this year, so she's going to learn sportsmanship, skills, teamwork. Again, something that's county-based. Soccer is not going to be through the school. It's going to be through the county. So stuff like that, when it comes to social skills, does not have to be only through school. Also, y'all know what type of mom I am. Bring Macy to the library. There's always... There's always free events around here. Look into the county, see what's going on. We get a magazine every month that lets us know what events are coming up all the way up until December of this year. Some are free, some cost money, but either way you will have, oh, there's a little fly. Some are free, some cost money, but either way you will have enough notice to figure out like, you know, what you need to pay for and what, and, and plan accordingly because Again, there's so many events out here that's free. Even a library, Macy, even though she's going to virtual school, she still gets a free library card because she's still registered with the state. So she still gets a free library card, able to get story time at the library, which is free, interaction with other kids. There's so much out there, y'all. It's 2024. If y'all don't have a TikTok, please get a TikTok, even though they're trying to ban it. But y'all there's so much out there and i'm so thankful for tiktok because it teaches me so much about all the different events that you can do i'm following a lot of homeschool moms on there as well it's just like really cool that the times that we're living in you know different from my parents and stuff like that like i am a younger millennial so it's like you know the opportunities that i have i'm very grateful for i knew that i did not want to live the same type of life that I grew up in kind of like I'm thankful for my mom and all that she's done for me but I knew that I wanted to move away from my family away from the city and start my own traditions and that's what I'm doing so very proud and excited but yeah y'all even if y'all are not homeschooling definitely look into the events that are going on in your community or even at church because our church does a lot of um, events for the kids as well and events in general they do a lot of events so 
just make sure you guys look into that even if you're not working from home I mean, even if you're not going to virtual school or your kid is not homeschooling definitely look into the events for the kids because there's always something going on plus i will be working from home and my schedule is kind of i have some type of freedom with my schedule so i think this will be a good structure for us I have my job update now because I know somebody asked me about my job. Okay, somebody asked me how did I find the work from home jobs, if I don't mind sharing. So I talked about this before, but um, there is a website that I have used personally and I've gotten hired personally off of this website from the job links that they posted. I'm going to put it right here, but I believe it's called work, work from home job queens or work. I don't know work at home job I don't know but I'll put the website right here um of course there's Indeed and LinkedIn but they're hit or miss to be quite honest with you they are hit or miss I would check out this website right here also again TikTok y'all TikTok has a lot of women on there especially mothers who give out jobs job alerts and all that all on TikTok like y'all got to just type in work from home jobs mom work from home jobs part-time Whatever, go to TikTok because these people really be giving tea on there. So personally with my job, I got an email to apply. I wasn't looking for a job, but I just got an email to apply and I applied because I do have background and experience in my position. Again, I am a travel agent, travel experience, travel software experience. So I was invited to apply. As soon as I applied, I did the assessment got an interview, got hired. It was like boom, boom, boom. It is lucrative and plus the benefits are bomb. Like I get free flight benefits for myself, for my family, for my kids, and for my parents. Like, yeah, I, I love the flight benefits. And I have a unique schedule. I have three days where I work a set schedule and then the rest of the week I pick my own hours, which is why I said that what makes you go into virtual school, I could kind of like really help out because I'm able to make my schedule half my schedule I'm able, I'm able to make and then half my schedule I have to dedicate my certain hours so yeah that is the life update y'all um we are virtual homeschooling we are starting our home buying series moving new job it's a lot but it's a lot of new blessings I have prayed for all of this I feel like I have went through a lot last year to get to this point I'm grateful I'm, I'm I can't I have no complaints I'm grateful y'all I'm just I'm just really excited I'm really really excited and I wanted to share that with you guys because we are moving and grooving over here <laughs> yeah y'all I am in the office temporary office temporary office uh -oh. I still want to set up these um things that I have these right here um so I don't know where to put y'all okay I'll put y'all right here these right here um I gotta read how you okay so I did one side now I have to do this side right here, which is put the screw in. I don't know if y'all can tell the screws right there. So, and then I just have to use like the nut and bolt to screw this side. It's pretty simple. They're just tiny, so it's kind of hard. And keep falling. Okay, I did the tray. This is what we're trying to get rid of or organize, okay? So, let's see here. I gotta take my camera out. Everything is just tangled. So I'll put my camera off to the side and I'll put my headset off to the side. So my headset is tangled in there too. Slide this. All right, it's installed. I don't know if you can tell it's installed. I'm gonna take my headset and loop it through and hang it onto the bottom. I'm taking my Velcro strips and I'm gonna start Velcroing the wires to the legs of the desk. So that it won't be so 
crazy looking. Okay, this is the best that I can do. <laughs> Again, this is a temporary office, y'all. The setup is gonna be quite different when we move. This is just so that the wires don't look too crazy. Now this right here, I have it coming from my outlet and Wi-Fi box. I'm going to get one of those outlet boxes, not outlets, but cord boxes where you can fit your extension cord and all that. It's on Amazon. I don't have my phone, but um, I might show you guys a picture of it later. But it's basically just like a discreet aesthetic looking box. And you put all of your cords, your extension cord, all that into the box and set it on the floor. It doesn't look like it's anything. It just looks way more discreet. So I'm gonna buy one of those. Um, so I ended up wrapping the cords around the desk all around here. The only thing that's stretching is this monitor. The cord is not long enough, so it kind of stretches. And then this is my camera. I made it a little loose because depending on what, I don't know, what it looks like, it's already tight, see? So I have to figure out how I look in the camera because I don't know if I want it this low or, or if I want to put it up higher. I decided to just, you know, not wrap it tight around the desk uh, leg. So I just put it right there. And then my headset is hanging on the floor right here, which is fine. Um, you know, the headset needs to stretch. So yeah, other than that, once I get the cord box, this will be hidden. And yeah, this is what we're working with for now. I think it looks a lot better than what it did look like when it came down to like all the cords, just like all of them right here. I think it looks a lot better. Um, one of the monitors are on, but this is what it looks like. I think it looks a lot better than what it was. The time is wrong, but it's fine. Um, so again, when we move, it'll be a lot different, but I can work with this for now. I highly recommend, I highly recommend those Velcro ties because you could really tie them up. They're black, they're discreet, and they do wonders. So this um, thing right here does not get in the way of me putting my legs underneath the desk because it is like literally right here and it's so tight, so. That was a great investment and I have an extra one over there. Um, I have an extra one because the girls might need it. Currently our girls are sharing a room, but when we move, they'll have their own room. They'll have their first teenage room. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna need one of those trays for their room. So I have an extra one. And then I'm gonna buy more of those like boxes. I'm gonna buy one for me, but I'm gonna buy like maybe a set because I'm pretty sure they're gonna need a cord organizer in their room too. They have like a game system, computer, switch, all that. So those cords drive me nuts. So I'm gonna order some for them too as well. But yeah, I'm glad I took the time to get that straightened. And I'm all ready for work. And yeah, I'll have that link below my Amazon storefront because I do I did get that all from Amazon as well as the cord box. I'm going to link that in Amazon as well. But yeah, yeah, this was a little easy peasy, lemon squeezy little desk setup. Good morning. It is the next day. As y'all can tell, your girl is hair is buck wild because I did not sleep with a bonnet on or anything so my hair is just crazy but oh um, they're doing the i'm like what what noise is that but i guess they're doing the lawn care i don't know child today is what's today today's thursday yes today's thursday i'm not realizing how fast the time is just going by the days are going by today is thursday spring break it's basically tomorrow because Friday is their last day of school. I have no idea what we're doing for spring break. I thought us, I thought for us to go to Florida, but I'm like, I'm not even prepared to go to Florida. Like, but then I'm like, do I really need to be prepared? Cause I do have clothes. I do have clothes to wear, which is why I'm glad like, you know, I have clothes. Macy would need another bathing suit. She has a towel. So like I can kind of swing it if we do go to Florida, but it's just the anxiety and rush of like 
okay, now that it's spring break, we need to pack, we need to, like, I'm not prepared, like, you know, it's kind of still up in the air if we're going or not. I'm about to make my coffee, I'm tired. So yeah, I don't know if we're going anywhere. My husband really wants to go. And I do too, but I'm like, I'm not prepared because I really didn't think about it. I thought, you know, like, I wasn't really bringing it up. Neither one of us was really bringing it up. I think we brought it up like a couple of times, but we never like solidified the plans. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. And it's Easter this Sunday, and I haven't made Macy's basket yet, so we're gonna do that today. Like, we're making her basket. I'm gonna film it, because I'm actually making like a TikTok reel of it, even though I'm kind of late, because like I said, Easter's already on Sunday, so. And I don't think I got my girls anything, or I don't know if I'm getting them anything, like my older girls. I don't know. Skate night is tomorrow, so they all wanna go to skate night. These are the things that's just in my brain, you guys. This is how mom brain works. It's like I have different things in my head all over the place, and I'm just like jumping around from thought to thought. But I want to like clean off my counter so I talk to you guys because my husband and I were up last night. Girl, the internet is on fire. <laughs> Looking at all the videos and like just stuff that's going on in the world, you know, with celebrities, y'all know certain celebrities, we grew up listening to them, you know, P, D, I, D, B, Y, you know, that person is just insane because I was telling my husband this, like, yes, it's one thing. I'm gonna like take out with me while I'm cleaning. It's one thing to like have accusations, people around talking about, oh, he did this, he did that. You know what I'm saying? But when those allegations start to have some real hardcore evidence that it's probably true, like this, this stuff is true. It's scary, like Hollywood and all that is just, I don't like to speak on a lot of things that are like controversial or like in the in the news gossip. Cause I don't, for one, I don't follow gossip pages or anything like that. I saw this stuff coming years ago. Like I, when I started really becoming awakening in my faith and awakening in the universe, I went through my spiritual awakening. I, my, my third eye has been like open and I'm, it's like when you go through that, you have a deeper sense of the world. It's like you're looking at the world on a 3D level almost. almost. Instead of most people who are looking around and walking through the world, taking it as face value. Like they have no clue what's really going on. But yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. And it's really, really sad. It's just really, really sad. For Macy's birthday, um, I'm going to decorate. I'm going to decorate this area. So I'm going to put a six balloon right here, right? And then I'm going to put her gifts all around the fireplace and put balloons and stuff and have a little cake. Um, I'm, I don't know if you guys have seen that on like TikTok or Instagram where like instead of doing like a party party, they give the kids like all their gifts right here. I wish my TV could say happy birthday Macy. I'm going to figure out how to do that because I know you can do it with Samsung frame TV, but this is an LG baby. So we're going to figure that out. But I'm definitely going to put all her gifts right here. I'm, I'm going to wake up super early because I want it to, I want her to see it when she first wakes up. So my husband and I, we don't get to work the morning of her birthday and like put all her stuff out. I'm not even in the mood to do like a party party. We're gonna have a celebration regardless. But for those who guessed what Macy's getting for her birthday, you are correct. She's getting her first bike, her first tricycle. What is going on? I have a six year old, what is going on? It's gonna be her first bike. I'm super excited. So I haven't even opened up the bike. Maybe we'll do that today. It's just all the way in the closet and I didn't feel like going through my closet and all that. Okay, let's focus on the first thing that we said we were gonna do and that's make Macy's Easter basket. <laughs>
dressed. Hold on. Okay. I thought y'all was blurry. Had to get dressed. I made the basket and then I quickly got into the shower and stuff. But Macy's basket came out so cute. Here it is again. I was thinking, like, should I put her name on it? I don't know if I should put her name on it. Or tie a little bow on it. Do I have? I don't know, I was thinking of doing something right here because I think it looks a little plain. So I'm like, should I tie a bow on it or something? I don't know, we'll see. But I do have these other two things. I said I was gonna like bring them back to Target, but I, I was like, I'll just give them to her because I feel like they obviously they don't fit inside, but I was like, why not? I mean, I already spent the money. I don't know if I could just go back for what, $8? I'm like, I don't know. Whatever. So I think I'm gonna just give this to her. Dang, I didn't get my teenagers a Easter basket. Do y'all give y'all teenagers Easter baskets? I don't really do that anymore because for one, they never want anything. Like, I can see if we had kids that always wanted stuff, but let me tell y'all, candy and money is literally the only things that they care about. Like, that's literally what be on their list. And they don't use the money to buy the candy that they want or for DoorDash. Like they don't be wanting nothing or for a game they'll use like stuff to um they'll use their money to buy stuff in their game but they don't be buying nothing they don't be wanting nothing shoes clothes like that's why the age gap is so weird because it's just like we have a five-year-old so of course we're gonna get her do little things like this and give her all the things but then our 14 year old we'll be like here's your candy bar <laughs> girl i don't know what to do but let me see i got this big box behind me because that's her bike and i'm not gonna build it yet i'm just gonna open it up and let y'all see because um like i said we're not gonna do this until her actual birthday okay so i'm just gonna open it i'm gonna close oh oh yeah let me bring it close let me bring it close oh oh great it's in another box okay that is awesome Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm hoping that it's not too small. I forgot what size I ordered. I know I ordered her helmet bigger because, you know, she has bobos in her hair and stuff. But I'm hoping I didn't get, a, you know, the, the actual bike is too small. That would be, <laughs> that would be bad. But time will tell, cause listen. Okay. In this box though, y'all see the box? My husband thought this Amazon box was small. He gonna really think the actual box is smaller. Oh, it's kind of, cause, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I guess I can take it out. Okay. So this is the box that came in, which is a huge box. I'm gonna throw that outside. But this, this bad boy is hopefully this is not too small. But I want to open it, but I low key don't. Oh. Finally got it open. Oh my gosh, okay, the color is so cute. Okay, let me show you. Okay, this is the color of the bike. This is not, this is only a sticker. These are stickers, you can take these off. These are all stickers. This right here is a sticker. This is a sticker, but this is the color of the bike. It's so cute, but it do look kind of small. I don't know, hopefully I didn't just waste my money. I mean, it's a tricycle, like, whatever. And this is all the assembly. Obviously, I got this. This is a Joystar bike. I will tag them below. No, it's not sponsored, but I'll still tag them below. I think they have the cutest bikes for kids. Um, so, they're on Amazon, but I think they have their own website, too. And their wheels have the stars on them. How freaking cute. So, from the look of it, it looks fine. I don't know if anything's missing. Hopefully not. But I'm gonna package it right back up and put it in my room. And then I'm gonna 
get rid of this. <clears throat> I'm gonna get rid of that so that I can throw it in our recycling. But if it is too small, then I don't know what to do. <laughs> I actually don't know what to do if it's too small, but hopefully it's not. Okay, y'all, how did we get here? I'm in the car, right? <laughs> Guess what? I'm returning the bike. My husband saw the bike and he was like, Brittany, now you know this bike too small. I was like, oh, I wanted it to be like right because I hate returning stuff. But um, yeah, we measured Macy when she got home from school and she's like right at the cusp of the max height of the bike. And I was just like, we, I might as well return it and get the bigger size so it can last longer because I'm pretty sure she's going to grow. She grows fast and she would have that bike for like seven months or whatever six seven months and then not able to ride it again so i'm just gonna go ahead and get the bigger size i told y'all that i got the bike in a 14 i didn't i got the bike in a 12 so that's even worse i got it in the smallest size so i'm definitely gonna return it uh, i'm gonna get a 16 i think that would be better um, I think a 16 would be comfortable. So I'm going to get her a 16 inch, 16 inch bike, return the 12 inch that I got. And yeah, what? I'm glad they let me return it though. Cause sometimes I really don't be paying attention to Amazon's return because I'm thinking you could just return anything. But now it's like, no, some companies don't allow you to return, but this one does. So I'm going to get it out the trunk. Hopefully I can my purse somebody asked me is that my purse around my shoulder yeah i like carrying my purse this way a messenger bag way i didn't think that was an issue anyways hold on oh it's windy okay we did the return I'm gonna go home because I, I literally just came out to do that because the faster I return it, the faster I can get my money back so that I can just buy her a new one because, you know, listen, I'm gonna keep my receipt, keep my receipt. Oh gosh, what am I gonna eat? I don't know if I want to eat yet. I don't know. There's nothing here. Something exciting to eat in this area. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. Have y'all tried those Little Caesars pizza puffs? Listen, Little Caesars is not bad. It's just that you gotta eat it right, like when it's fresh. You cannot eat that pizza later on in life, five minutes later. None, nothing like that. You gotta eat it fresh. Macy loves Little Caesars. <laughs> That's like the only type of pizza. Well, not the only type of pizza she likes. Because she eats pizza at school and stuff. She likes pizza in general. But um, those pizza crazy puffs, I tried them. They are really good. And I'm telling you, I've been thinking about them ever since I tried them the first time. I love this curly hair though. This is the curl that I was talking about. It's just the perfect curl. It's not like tight. And it's long still. And I love that type of curl. I don't like tight curls. Well, I love tight curls, but I, I wasn't going for that look. Yeah, yeah, I've been craving them dang on crazy puffs, but then I'm just like, I feel like I've been spending a lot of money on out to eat. Like, Sunday we went out to eat before that. Yeah, we've been spending a lot of money on takeout, and takeout is like almost $100. No, seriously, because, well, almost, yeah, almost $100 because the, the fees and everything, because just for three of them, the three of us take out like when you order uber eats or doordash it's like 45 dollars. so adding four of us all together it's just a lot so i'm like you know what let's not order anything else out for a while but yeah, yeah i'm gonna see you when i get home let's film all right <laughs> macy's like that's film we're in walmart and it's we're gonna get away back first okay she's convinced that she's gonna get Linky Box merch. This is her birthday weekend, I guess. It's not my birthday yet. I, yeah, I know, I keep, it's not today, it's Wednesday. Today is Friday, your birthday's on Wednesday. I know. Okay, so it's the next day. And um, I had to make a return at Sephora, 
And then I came to Walmart. I think I still gotta go to Target because I have another return, but right now we're at Walmart. Oh, the Bluey book is cute. Oh, I love wooden food. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, y'all, this dollhouse is only 40 bucks. When we first got it, it was like 180 or something like that. $40, I don't know if it's because it's open or not, but what? That's crazy. Hey, you same helping? Okay. Okay, y'all, back from Walmart. I did not go to Target because those streets are crazy. I don't like being in traffic. Macy don't like being in traffic. We just, we not a traffic people. <laughs> it's too much people going on. I'd be like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go home. I'm such a homebody, I can't help it. But I had to get some more sponges. I wanted to try to scrub daddy and every time I go, I forget to grab one because I'm so used to grabbing like the, the multi-pack ones. So, um, I will grab a scrub daddy because I've been wanting to try it. I don't understand the hype fully because I haven't had one, so we'll see. But I did go and get some comments from Sandy Wipes. Kids needed more body wash. Um, and then I, that's it. I got Macy her toy that she wanted. Since it is her birthday weekend, I said, yeah, sure, why not get a toy? Stocked up on my favorite coffee and my favorite Creamer, the oh okay, let me show you the non-dairy caramel macchiato one from Starbucks, and that's it. I'll take you over here to see what we're doing. Buying this Play-Doh set. It's like an ice cream thing. It's so cool. We can make ice creams, cupcakes, all that. Um, although I don't know where this unicorn thing is. This one comes with one. Okay. Yeah, like it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, I don't because of one. Okay, so which color do you want? I want the purple and yellow. Okay, purple and yellow. We're gonna line that up in here. Mhm. Mm so you gotta put a lot oh, in here. Oh, because I have a random color. Okay, so you gotta put a lot in here and then shave yeah, it across. Yeah, yeah, like um, like yeah, the eyes are set. Oh. You need me? Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? You gotta put a lot of Play-Doh in it. See, you wanna make your ice cream? Hey y'all, it's the next day. Yesterday, Macy and I, we were just playing with her little Play-Doh set. We went outside and after that, I was tired. I went in the house. So I just relaxed for the rest of the night. I was actually like in pain, like my back was hurting and stuff. I had cramps, I don't know why, but I was just like, you know what? I want to relax. So I got out my heating pad and I relaxed for the rest of the day. Um, and now it's the next day. It's a beautiful day. It's like 75 degrees outside. So my older girls want to go to the park with their friends. I'm chaperoning. Yesterday they went to the skating rink and another parent chaperone. So I was like, okay, I will do today. It's like funny because each parent in the friend group takes turns chaperoning the kids and stuff. It's getting to the point where I'm just like, when y'all need a license? <laughs> I think Georgia, like 16 year olds can get a license. Yeah, we almost there. Cause listen, they want to go here, there, everywhere. Oh, I need y'all to get a license, baby. I use my like, uh, curl iron. This is the curl iron I got from hair school. It's that old. These things get so hot. And for a while it took me to learn how to actually use these. I've been using the burst. Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. It's a gel. I don't know if y'all can tell. Hold on. It's like a gel consistency, but it dries up almost matte. But I love it. Like, I've been loving this um, moisturizer. I got this in my PR package that I told y'all about last vlog. But I've been using a product and it's really, really good. Oh, I just can't believe I burned my forehead. I burned it real good too. Like, it just laid right on my forehead. So wearing, I'm also wearing like my, I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like, but it's so cute. I love this jumper from Timu and it's like the free people dupe jumper or overalls, I guess. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when I'm done, but it's so flowing. It has the pockets. It's like super cute and like an easy, you know, 
outfit to throw on. I need more colors because they have more and more colors. Let me move y'all over here. Y'all, Macy's bike came. I'm gonna show y'all, hold on. It did come um, the next day because I got a new one. Remember I told y'all I returned the other one because it was just way too small. And then I got a size 16. And then I got this color, so it's like a lavender purple, which is perfect. I'll be wearing the Finery um, flower bed. I low-key forget I have this because I've been wearing my Daisy by Marc Jacobs. But I forgot I have this, and I feel like this is like a good day to wear it because I'm not really going anywhere. I'm just going to the park and, you know, just a chill day. I can wear that type of scent when it's like just a regular, regular day. I'm going to use my e.l.f using my elf lip oil i don't know where my lip butter went from nude sticks i have no idea so i'm just gonna wear this one this is just as good this is like the dior dupe lip gloss oh uh, i love it in my opinion it's not it's like too sticky that's what i love about this and the brush feels so fluffy i love it and it's affordable girl because mm. you are like it's instant for the same type of thing i don't think so this is the jumper that I was talking about. But I saw it online, I saw people say that it's like the free people do. It's super cute. It's not adjustable strap, so like, I am a little out here. So that's the only thing I'm just like, but other than that, I love it. I think I'm gonna order more because it is super freeing and it's good for the summertime too, to wear it. I need like multiple colors. I think there's like a blue color that I want to get because the blue color I can wear at my um, slides and stuff. So yeah, super cute. I just don't know what sandals to wear or slides. I'll just put some on. Maybe I'll wear my new slides from um, Target. I think I'm gonna wear these right here. Um, I got these from Target for like 25 bucks, right? Yeah, they're $24.99. They're like the christian dior dupe slides so i think i'm gonna wear these it's later on and i'm still at this park first of all then i walked over to this little bubble tea spot but look at my forehead y'all just look at my forehead i don't even want to share y'all <laughs> look at my forehead look at my forehead oh my gosh it doesn't hurt anymore but now it's just like a big ass big ass dash my daughter was like mommy there's a dent on your forehead <laughs> I'm like, girl, I got burnt by the curl nighter. I ain't had a burn on my forehead from the curl nighter in years. Okay, I'm talking about since I was like a little girl. <sighs> I'm just gonna cover it. I'm just gonna cover it and wear a hat, y'all. I don't know what to do. But y'all, we've been here for hours. I got here at like four. It's about to be eight o'clock. The sun is going down, so we're leaving soon because I'm the sun is going down. I'm about to text them right now. I'm not gonna lie, um, I've been enjoying myself. The only reason why I'm in the car is because my phone died, but I was outside enjoying myself. By myself, the teenagers been doing their own thing, hanging out with their friends. I walked around some nice area over here, actually. Like, it's not too far from my house, but I still want to buy a home in this area. This is like one of the areas that I'm looking at. It's very nice over here it's very peaceful it's very family oriented so yeah but i was just walking around looking at the homes and talking on the phone with my friend and just enjoying my me time because even though i took the teenagers out i still got time for myself macy's with my husband so i've been able to enjoy peace and quiet but yeah, yeah i will see y'all probably tomorrow because when i come home i'm about to put some ointment on this burn and relax in my house Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter. Y'all, my burn literally has been peeling. So it just looks crazy. I'm going to put some Neosporin on it. It'll be all right. Sorry, it's an eyesore right now because it's literally looking crazy. But whatever. Um, I am literally about to film us giving Macy her Easter basket and then I'm leaving because we just got off church live and now. We're about to do her Easter basket. She doesn't even know she has one. Happy Resurrection Sunday. God bless you all. So thankful for you guys as my subscribers. So yeah, let's get to it. You got me bubbles, but but carrot.
I put a band-aid on and it just looks worse but my camera's dying I am about to close out the vlog Macy loved her gift she's so easy to please like it was just something simple but um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Comment below again about any advice about homeschooling. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Take it easy. Have a good week ahead of you. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.